You know what? Actually, I'm going to do something I haven't done yet. I'm going to do the oxtail. This is from that grass-fed, grass-finished beef I bought from Big Mo's cattle. It's frozen right now, but it'll be fine in a few hours. Give it a good 12 hours, it'll be soft and tender. Here's that oxtail. You can see the amount of salt I put on there. I'll probably add some more. I'm back it's 11 almost 11 o'clock at night I gotta go into work I gotta be there at 12 15 this morning so I'm gonna have some of this oxtail to get started this is my breakfast <laughs> 11 o'clock at night let's see how it looks oh it smells so good oh look at that it fogged up the camera hold on there we go. Oh, baby. Oh, it's so tender I can barely pick it up without it falling apart. Mmm. Doesn't that look delicious? It's supposed to get down to the 40s while I'm at work today. Alright, sorry about the lighting. It's kind of hard to do this in the middle of the night. Oh, I love it. Look at that. It just falls apart. Oh, it's so tender and juicy. This is only the second time I've had oxtail. I forgot how good it was. Oh my gosh. How fatty and beautiful that is. You know, I've had people comment that they can't eat the fat because they don't have a gallbladder. I don't have a gallbladder. You become fat adapted after a while. It just takes a little bit of time. When I first started this diet, I ate a lot of New York strip steak, which wasn't very fatty. It's only now that I've gotten to where I can eat a lot of fat and it doesn't bother me. Not only does it not bother me, huh, I've grown to love it. You know, I've talked about this before, but I always like to mention it again because this may be the first video you've ever seen. When I first did uh, Atkins diet back in the 2000s and I lost a lot of weight, but I didn't make a lifestyle change so I wound up gaining a lot of weight back, especially once I got married again and my new wife loved to make good food. Um, I used to back then when I was doing Atkins diet, I thought it was great to buy sirloin steaks because I thought, hey, I get a lot more meat this way and I don't have to throw away all the fat. I was throwing away the fat. I can't believe I was throwing away the fat. This is so awesome. This is going to give me just the energy I need to get through another long night of work. So for you guys out there that work a rough job, anybody that tries to convince you that eating meat is not going to give you the energy you need, you know, meat, water, and salt is what powers me. And occasionally I have some uh, electrolytes. Like I had electrolytes when I woke up this morning. I took my Relight in an 800 milliliter bottle that I keep. I bought a bottle from Publix, I believe it was, of uh, spring water. It was kind of expensive, but I've been reusing the bottle now for months. And that way I always have uh, something that's a glass bottle I can carry and keep my drinks in. 
and get uh, I use it to put my relight in or put my salt in most of the time throughout the day but every morning I start off with a relight and I know that I noticed initially just like a lot of people will comment that salt really does the job I don't necessarily feel like I needed the potassium and magnesium but I wanted to see how it added to my diet and at first I was like yeah it's pretty good I mean it's nothing special it's like having salt but I've noticed when I'm working this hard job where I'm really working a lot of labor throughout the day I mean it's just non-stop work when I don't have that extra potassium and magnesium I get leg cramps at night and they can be devastatingly painful so that sometimes you just need a little extra magnesium and potassium but for the most part I never needed anything but meat, water, and salt on this diet. And not only has it been all I needed, it's been all I've wanted. Because it's, it's enough. It makes the food delicious. It gives me the energy I need. You just couldn't ask for a better way of eating for a better lifestyle. Mm. I slept a lot today. I don't know how I would have... I, just, I don't want to get out of bed sometimes when I work as hard as I do. I don't know how I would have made it without my wife rubbing my feet and hands today because I get so sore from all that activity. That non-stop lifting heavy things, lifting, lifting, turning, lifting, constantly going on my feet the whole time. But once I get in there, once I have that electrolyte, those electrolytes and I get some good food in me, let it settle, get in there to work, bring my water. I have my bottle with my water and salt in it. It just gets me through the day. It's truly a miracle what this diet has done for me because I was not able to do this type of work before. And if I was, I sure wasn't doing it. Even, even minor tasks in comparison were difficult. And now I feel like I can take on the world. And here I'm about to be 51 years old this year. It's just remarkable. It's like having a second youth. And I'm glad I shared that first video, 125 Days on Lion Diet, because if it wasn't for that, and seeing how it took off with so many people interested in it, I wouldn't have been doing this for the past two years and sharing my journey with you. I didn't realize how big of a carnivore community there was out there, but... I also realize that most of them are the experts and the doctors and they have all these wonderful things to add to the the story but you don't get a chance to necessarily see what it's like to be a regular guy going through all of this and I've enjoyed being able to bring that to you but as I've been studying and learning myself and reading books and watching videos on you know all the different doctor carnivores that are out there I'm getting to where I know some of this stuff and I'm going to be glad to share that with you in those videos I've been talking about. So stick around. I got a lot more to say about that two years on lion diet. And I got to say, it's not necessarily completely lion diet anymore. But I still don't eat pork or chicken. I do eat eggs. Pasture raised, organically fed eggs. And um, I do have butter. I have a lot of grass fed, grass finished butter. I get the Kerrygold butter, Irish butter from Publix or from Walmart. And sometimes I'll get the grass-fed butter from Aldi, which is basically the same thing. It's Irish butter also. And uh, that has made a big difference because adding that fat has really given me a lot more energy to be able to take on the tough days that I have to take on. Well, anyway, I'm going to go finish eating and get ready for work. I'll see you guys next time. If we pay extra, could we maybe get some grease or fat?